All right, Shalom. Uh, first off, I want to say all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Achak, Wadash, double honor to our apostles and elders of GMS, uh, to the elect doing the work of sincerity and in truth, Shalom. This is GMS Precepts here in the Zara Chud speaking. Um, I don't have a title yet, but uh, pretty much, maybe I'll just all out hell is going on around the globe. Maybe, maybe that's what I'll call it. Um, and uh, it's a prophet's job to sift through all these situations that's happening worldwide sift through all these articles to search and find um to search and find the prophecy you know what since i mentioned that let me i was gonna get that later but uh let me get that now since i mentioned it second that's just the ninth chapter nine and one it reads, uh, this is second Ezra 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, right? And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I told thee before, then then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So this is what a prophet is, is supposed to do. We're supposed to measure, measure the time diligently in itself, meaning look for prophecy. Let's look at some of these prophecies that are taking place. Right. This is uh what article. This is from Zero Hedge. This is what's going on. This has been in the news for a few days now. The situation happening in Israel. Uh, literally Armageddon. Fifty three killed in Gaza and five Israelis dead. As you went as you went warns. Full scale war is imminent. Right. Imminent. When you look up the word imminent, it means uh, it's going to happen. Right. It's guaranteed. You know. Matter of fact, let's look at that word. Oh, you can't see the full definition because my screen is cut off, but it says about to happen. They were in imminent danger of being swept away, right? But it says approaching, near, close, at hand, impending. You see? So war, all out war in this region is imminent. And this also disproves this this situation alone disproves that the people over there in Israel can't be the biblical Israelites, right? I always you know, through the Spirit. Uh, bring this out. Let me go to Isaiah, the second chapter, real quick. It's also in Micah, the fourth chapter, as well. It says, let me go to the point here. Um, You know what? Let me just start. I think it's at four. Right? I'm going to start at four. I'm going to just go to the point. This is Isaiah, that's two and four. And he, and he shall judge among the nations. And shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into preening hooks. Nation shall not lift up nation, a sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. Right? So this is basically saying once the Lord returns, he's going to bring the people, the original people, back to their land. And the countries, the surrounding countries, or the countries worldwide, or the nations worldwide, will turn their weapons, their military uh, uh, the the military weapons and some cultivating weapons. They're gonna basically. There's not gonna be war anymore. But ever since these the, the people occupied the land of Israel, 1948 by way of Belfort Declaration, it's been nonstop war. You even had the uh, Egyptian. I believe he was a prime minister or president or the general, Gamal Nasser of Egypt. He said, "How can one nation le leave dark skinned or black and come back white?" I will never accept this. And ever since then, ever since they occupied the land in 1948, it's been nonstop war, nonstop bloodshed. And they've been just occupying more and more and more of Israel while kicking the people out. The, the Palestinians, which the Palestinians don't belong there anyway, right? But anyway, this just this proves this whole situation, this full-scale war that they say that's imminent. Um is uh proves that these people aren't the original people right i have another article i believe where is it excuse me here's another one this is breaking this is from um express this is from express this is from a uk news it says breaking israel versus palestine only beginning netanyahu's chilling warning as hamas chiefs killed Okay, so this is uh, straight out the straight out the horse's mouth. This is from the Prime Minister of Israel. He's saying this is only the beginning as far as the 
the uh, as far as the uh, turmoil going on going on over there, right? But not only this is going on, right? Um, let's go to RT news. Afghan government launches operation to retake district outside Cabal from Taliban hours before edit edited ceasefire set to kick in, right? So this is more war, right? Now the scriptures speak about wars and rumors of wars. Does it not? Let me get that real quick. Matthews, the 24th chapter. I believe it's also in Luke, uh, 21st chapter, I believe. Right? About the warning that the Lord gave to his disciples, which represent the elect of today, uh, of his impending or his, <laughs> his imminent return, right? Matthews 24, it speaks about let me go to the point here when it speaks about wars, right? This is Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that see the see that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not nigh. I'm sorry, but the end is not yet. For a nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. So this is just part of the clues that the Lord left. Like, look. My return is imminent. I'm, I'm returning soon. Okay? Prepare yourself. That's why he said prepare yourself as a bridegroom. Right? That's spiritually meaning what? To get right with Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai. Right? Now, the only ones that are going to do that are of the election. Right? But we have to first watch, just like it says in 2nd Ezra, the ninth chapter, we have to me measure the time di diligently and look for the signs. Right, because it says, "Then shalt thou understand that is the that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when thou shalt see earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of these things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning." Right. So let's look at more turmoil. Right. This is uh another article from Express. Which is a UK news. It says war fears as Ukraine warns 100,000 Russian troops remain near border amid tension. So this whole Russia, Ukraine uh, uh, situation is still going on, right? Uh, you still have 100,000 Russian troops near near the border. That's the situation is going on. Uh, what is this? And then you have this situation. Nearly 2,000 gas stations out of fuel as pa panic hoarding hammers southeast uh, of the country of uh, America, right? And this is around the same time that two weeks ago you had a big oil spill a few weeks ago uh, in that area. Um, and they're not linking the two together, right? But uh, that could have been done on purpose as well, right? See, anything that these devils, you know, you can't really uh, rely on their, what they say. It's always a, uh, it's always something deeper, you know, as far as, I mean, look, people call it crazy to not, be, to not believe what they say. But I see, I feel it's crazy to believe known liars. Like the media has been caught lying time and time and time again, right? So this is, this is another situation going on down there in the, in the south, south uh, east of this country what is this this is zero hedge again um this whole situation with you know the gas hoarding i mean um not well what they're blaming it on see and they're blaming it on gas hoarding as far as the uh fuel panic okay see hoarder ha hoard hoarding as panic hoarding hammer southeast all right so i believe that's all the articles i have that I sip through, but uh, yeah, this is um, this is what's going on. This is all prophecy, and we are to look, you know, we're st we are to filter through all these articles to look for signs of the Lord Lord's return. That's the job of the watchman, right? All right, so that that's pretty much it. I'll end it with that. Until the next show, Lord willing, you brothers and sisters were edified. Till the next time, shalom.